Ja, ich bin der.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. Today, our church celebrates the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the church. And we also pray um, today for our mass intention for deceased members of Pizzinelli family and pray for Jing Lao. As we gather together, let us acknowledge our sins. Ask the Lord to forgive us so that we prepare to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus, we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary. By the new and living way, he opened for us through the evil that is his flesh, through the veil that is his flesh. And since we have a great praise over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rule one another to love and good work. We should not stay away from, an, as, from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And days all the more, as you see, the day drew, drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established, established it upon the rivers. Lord, this Lord, is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? 
or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desire not what is vain. Lord, Lord this, this is, is the people, people that, that long to see, see your face. face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, Lord this, this is, is the people, people that, that long to, to see your, your face. face. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes in our life, we wonder what's happening, and the world is getting darker and because of the violence and hatred uh, happening in the world. And sometimes we wonder in our church too, why our faith is spreading very slow and nobody coming to church anymore. And of course, there are probably many reasons for that. But one of the reasons we can really reflect is really look at ourselves. What are we doing with our faith? And uh, today in Jesus um, saying that uh, Jesus used this parable as a lamb brought in uh, supposed to be placed on the lampstand, not uh, under a basket or not uh, under a bed. If you place that light under bed or under the bas bushel basket, then you cannot see the light. Uh, indeed, at Jesus' time, they really appreciate the lamb at the night uh, because nothing gives light except the lamb in the night. And nowadays, we do not appreciate the that light anymore because whenever we reach out our hand we can't turn on the light immediately but uh, in Jesus time that's what uh, uh, a lamb do uh, in the dark of night only with a light and uh, people can see and do things at night so Jesus used his parable really compare each of us our faith and uh, everything that God has given to us and uh, our faith it's not supposed to be private. Sometimes think we are thinking that, oh, I believe in Jesus Christ. I love him. I do, uh, I do what he command. But uh, in our actual life, we do not really let our faith to shine before others. We are hidden. And the faith is uh, private. The, sometimes you hear even our people's says uh, the people who have the faith uh, in Jesus Christ. They says, oh, why do you force your faith to others, on others? It's not a force, it's a love. And uh, we love pe people and we want to draw people to Jesus Christ. That's why we preach our faith before others. So faith is given, supposed to share and not keep it uh, private, uh, sharing in a way by loving others by proclaiming the, God, the gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ 
in our words and in our deeds. So that's a much uh, to reflect what's happening to our church, to our faith, and to even in our parish. Uh, do we do enough to draw people you know, to Jesus Christ? And the second thing uh, Jesus says, and the measure with which you measured will be measured out to you. And uh, sometimes we complain, uh, how come our faith is not growing? And uh, uh, my faith is very steady, or uh, I do not have enough faith uh, anymore, uh, only because we do not measure our faith out. And if you do not do what God commanded you to do, if you do not share your faith, your faith will never grow. And sometimes we're thinking that, oh, my prayers is enough. Yes, prayer is very important, but sharing the faith will let our faith to grow. Only in that way our faith can grow. That's what Jesus said. And uh, uh, regarding other gifts that God given to us, the same principle, if you do not share, you will never grow. So today we celebrate St. Thomas Aquinas, and God gave him intelligence, and his love for the sacred scripture, his love for the sacred doctrine, and he never ceased to measure his intelligence out. And he constantly seeking God's revelation and how to study the doctrine, and even to prove for other people on God's existence. So that's what he used. And uh, we know he studied very hard, and uh, he wrote uh, many books. And uh, now we still, in the seminary, in our daily life, we, we read his uh, um, intelligent work. And because God gave us a reason, and there's no conflict between reason and faith, and uh, he used their reason to convince people that God exists, that God loves each of us. So everybody has received, especially we receive faith and also receive gifts. Sometimes we want to keep it private, but uh, as Jesus says, and when you do not measure out, and nothing, nothing will measure out to you. So let us uh, come to the Lord and to heed his word. And he says, anyone who has ear ought to hear and should hear what he's saying. So each, every day we hear God's word and God constantly reminding us to uh, make a conversion and uh, thank God for the faith and also share the faith with others by our words and by our deeds. Let us do that, imitate uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, and to continue to preach the gospel, bring the word of God to others. Let us uh, offer our prayers. To be follower of Jesus Christ, we see ourselves as not as individuals, but as members of his community. To be his followers is to work for a unity of heart, a unity of mind, a unity of spirit. We pray for the church that the light of God's faithfulness to his people might find us respond in our love and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray for families and communities burdened with divisions, that they may be seeing the unifying light of God's message. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who bear the burden of guilt or fear or hopelessness, that they may hear their burdens lightened through Christ's message of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that the light of Christ may over our, overcome our blindness to the needs of others. Let us pray to the Lord. 
We pray for a sincerity of heart, a firmness of hope, a purity of intention in our lives and the life of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. And we continue to pray for those people who are suffering in this pandemic, financially, uh, physically, spiritually, mentally. Uh, may God bring them healing and give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Uh, we pray for end of the pandemic, for God's mercy for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our beloved deceased. Especially we pray for uh, Jing Lao. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we offer our own intentions. God, our Father, made the fall of your goodness, we place our prayers before you. Grant us all we need today to live our lives in the shadow of your presence. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, a work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of our holy, this holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed St. Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for on the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas, you bid your church rejoice. So Two, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of the angels and the saints, 
we sing the hymn of your praise. As we do end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one into the, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember deceased member of peace his Nelly family and Jiang Lao and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and our grace has laid great her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. My soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you about all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Through Christ, the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Saint Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you to God. Thank you all for coming to mass and have a blessed day. Thank you.